The threatening crisis of climate change and pollution has attracted worldwide attention over the last few decades. However, carbon capture and storage methods, once seen as a promising technology to mitigate this worrying scenario, are considered economically cumbersome, and their long-term environmental implications are still unclear. Alternatively, biological capture of carbon dioxide using microalgae is considered an attractive medium for recycling the excess carbon dioxide generated from power plants, automobiles, landfills, and forest fires. Furthermore, through microalgae, carbon dioxide can be captured and recycled into biomass, which in turn could be utilized as a carbon source to produce lipids for the production of bioenergy and other value-added products. Scientists have long used the photosynthesis of algae to convert biofuels and produce other sources of sustainable products. Now, they have taken it a step further by using the algae for low-cost carbon capture. Recently, from an April 28 article in Offre 21, in Morocco, the British company Brilliant Planet is launching a 30-hectare algae farm in the Sahara Desert for carbon capture. The facility will contribute to the reduction of carbon dioxide emissions as the climate-affected desert kingdom of Morocco moves forward with its energy transition. To implement this project, Brilliant Planet recently raised $12 million from several investors, including the American venture capital firm Toyota Ventura based in San Francisco in the United States and the New York-based Union Square Ventura. As Brilliant Planet CEO Adam Taylor told Climate Tech VC, quote, Algae is an inherently more efficient biological machine for carbon capture than trees or plants, because its entire surface area is dedicated to photosynthesis, and it doesn't waste resources creating trunks, roots or branches. What's more, it grows and proliferates extremely fast under the right conditions. Unquote. Brilliant Planet has been able to find suitable local strains of algae everywhere it's looked thus far and in terms of scalability, the CEO says the company's already identified a short list of about half a million square kilometers of suitably flat coastal desert land. That represents the potential for about 2 gigatons, or 2 billion tons, of carbon capture and sequestration per year. There are many advantages to Brilliant Planet's carbon sequestering method. It is achieved without using essential freshwater, is solar-powered, and helps to acidify the ocean water it does use. And in other related recent news, Elon Musk has recognized the potential of algae to capture carbon dioxide as well. With the company, Global Algae, which won Elon Musk-funded greenhouse gas contest, with a plan to cultivate algae to help restore rainforests, which capture huge volumes of carbon dioxide. Algae can be a more efficient and more profitable alternative to the cattle ranching and soy and palm oil crops currently on cleared rainforest land, Mark Hazelbeck, a principal of the family-owned company, told the Associated Press. Global Algae's concept is to use deforested farmland in the Amazon to farm algae instead of soybeans. Their unique technology enables algae farmers to generate 40 times more protein per acre than soybeans, the highest productivity conventional crop. This could double our protein output with only 2.5% of the land currently in soy production. Or to think of it in another way, every 3,000 acres of algae farming for protein meal will save 120,000 acres of rainforest. Global Algae was founded in 2013 to harness the unparalleled productivity of algae to provide food and fuel for the world, dramatically improving the environment, economy, and quality of life for all people. The company recognized that to achieve this vision, Radical advances were necessary in every step of the algae production process. Let's hope and pray that companies like Global Algae and Brilliant Planet will help humanity take the next steps in healing our planet, our mother, Earth. <laughs>